the divine feminine is a force hidden inside our minds, our energy, inside life itself. The divine feminine is mystery. It holds all things that lie in the dark. Yes, both the good things and the bad things. Invite in the Divine Feminine in all her glorious, nurturing, positive ways. She is needed now more than ever. Those subtle, intuitive cues come from the Divine Feminine. She is in you now, in both men and women. The Divine Feminine will be much more strongly embodied in women Honor that. As a woman, honor the divine feminine in you. As a man, honor the divine feminine in other women and as a part of your own energy, but not a dominant part. This is as it should be. Opposites do attract. Opposites create fire and passion. Opposites ignite creativity inspiration, and all things new. The Divine Feminine has for too long been held down, held back, and corrupted. So that now, as she rises, she may be a mutant, jagged force filled with hubris. And not a soft, undulating, powerful force of greatness that she is. The Divine Feminine is a necessary component in our lives, in our relationships, and in ourselves. Too many external forces have hardened the Divine Feminine. We've arrived at a time in history unlike any other. We must capture, recapture the Divine Feminine and invite her in. Women must find ways of capturing her, enlivening her in their bodies, getting to know her again, allowing the Divine Feminine to live through them. That 
endlessly desirous force of nature that the divine feminine is, she shall attract all things. She is endlessly attractive to the Divine Masculine. Be strong with her. Serene with her. Wise with her. A woman who carries the Divine Feminine within her spirit holds the mysteries of life much like touching the galaxies it's endless we call on all women to be that mystery Become that mystery. Embody the hidden secrets of our universe. 